Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. We are moving on to the advanced page under preferences, and I promise we're almost done, but all this stuff, you just, you got to know where it is, or you end up hanging and not knowing what to do. Okay, so if under the editing tab, for starters, uh, there's a couple settings here, and I don't know what all of them do because I haven't had to use them. Uh, this first one, enable crosshair cursor for tools, I've never messed with it. Locate when clicked in empty space is awesome. I think it, come, it defaults to being off uh, when you first get Studio One. And this is actually pretty cool. So let's say you're working on a song and you're used to in Pro Tools with the Smart Tool, you can kind of click anywhere within a song, right? And if you click on the top half of a region, then it'll locate there. Well, that doesn't happen in Studio One, okay? But if you click on an empty space, which we all have empty spaces in our songs usually, um, you'll notice when I'm clicking here, nothing's happening either because I turned it off. So if I turn this back on, locate when clicked in empty space, it just essentially means when I click in an empty space, the locate tool is going to jump to that spot. So my locate is here. I can hit right there and it starts playing. As opposed to if I'm working down here and I want to hear it play just before this, this region starts. If you don't have this selected, you have to come way up here and click up here to, to move it over. Otherwise, with this, this feature enabled, I can be over here and I can just click right there and go. Okay, super, super handy. Just one of those things. I'm not sure why you'd ever want it off. Uh, so just turn it on and be happy. Um, don't show event names. That just means uh, when you're looking at a region, like they call it in Pro Tools, that the names show up. It can be, when you start doing lots of edits, it can be kind of annoying to have the name of each track in there. So I tend to leave those off just to make it look a little cleaner. As you can see, now there's no event names at the top of each region. Uh, so that's your preference. Go with, go with your heart on that one. Uh, draw events translucent which means the grid shines through. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, I tend to want the grid to shine through my events. Let me apply this, turn it off for a second. Uh, the, the audio tends to be a lot brighter, right? We have a lot more color options, which, you know, I'm actually, as I'm looking at it, I really do like that. However, if you wanted to be able to see the grid inside of each channel, for example, let's say you're looking at the drums, and we're zoomed in and we're doing maybe a little bit of drum editing and we want to see where the grid is. I can see that this measure starts up here, but I can't quite see if this particular track, uh, this kick drum hit is lined up. I think it is, but I can't really tell. So I want the grid lines to shine through, which is something that Pro Tools has done. Uh, so it's included here as well. So by turning this on and applying it, it makes all the regions a little darker, a little more translucent. But now you can see, if I zoom in, you can see the grid line is actually shining through. So I can literally see the grid right next to my audio and line things up. Super duper handy. Um, and finally, smooth edges of automation envelopes. Uh, that's basically if you do an automation like use your fader port to ride a vocal, it won't do a million little volume points of automation. It'll just do a few and kind of get the basic gist of what you did. I'm okay with that because tons of automation points can sometimes slow down a computer, and my computer tends to be a little slow these days. So I'm okay with that. But you can play around with both of those and see which one you like. But that's uh, that's everything under editing. I have everything enabled because I'm that feature happy. But do what you want, play around with them, but that's what the, all of those do. Thanks. See you in the next video.